my first symptoms were um, back in December 2013. Um, started getting some real weird like signs of not being able to grip in my right hand. So I basically went to um, the doctors as you do and uh, they said it was uh, chill blains. Um, went back again and it had obviously got worse with the movement. They then obviously um, said that you need to go and see a neurologist because there is more to this than what we thought. Then finally um, got diagnosed in 2017. I at the time I, j I thought no it can't be right and as much as I knew it was right you try and tell yourself no there must be a mistake but at the same time you just come to terms as time goes on very slowly and I did get my head around it it was like my whole world crane crashing down at me at once because you have this future you don't ever think that something this bad could come at such a like young age I just didn't know what to do for the best really but I did in the end find myself and got through it the best I could doing my research in the way I did it was probably the right thing to do but at the same time it does put that worry in your head that's when I reached out to the M&D Association and they basically took me under their wing really and straight away I just felt a relief off my shoulders so for anyone who does get diagnosed I would strongly suggest that they would go to the M&D Association because they're just incredible charity to be around being 26 and diagnosed with MND was a big part of my life at the time because we got married the year before me and Chris in 2016 in the October. So then to be told I had MND the following year in March was a huge like crumble to our lives in a way. Um, the next biggest thing we had to decide is whether we wanted children or not because we did plan on having a family. Um, we chose not to, surely because we just didn't want to take the risk on myself. I thought of leaving children behind and or not being a proper mum like I'd want to be. I just found that wouldn't have been right. So we just chose not to do that. But I have got two gorgeous nieces and nephews that I adore. So they keep me on my toes, shall we say. I think with friends and family, and going to tell them what you've got wrong with you is probably harder than being told you've got MND. And being told you've got a terminal illness at 26 is bad enough, but trying to tell your mum, your nan, um, your brother, everyone that you love around you is really, really hard and very hard for them to accept.